Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bertemu kembali dengan Cak Bogel. Mudah-mudahan kawanku semuanya diberikan kesehatan. Amin, amin, ya robbal alamin. Di hari ini kita akan melihat bersama pidatonya Bapak Prabowo di hadapan para tamu undangan internasional seluruh dunia dengan bahasa Inggris full tanpa tag. Dan mohon izin video ini saya dapatkan dari channelnya Yuda Media HD. Dan mohon izin videonya saya reaksi. Dan akan kita ikuti bersama-sama ini videonya. I think all your peoples also desire prosperity. We still maintain growth after a pandemic. Our strategy is not a zero-sum game, not winner takes all, but we want win, 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 win. That is what we want. Dan video ini sudah ditranslate ke bahasa Indonesia ya. Jadi teman-teman bisa melihat tag di layar ya. Vietnam can if Cambodia can why cannot Indonesia? We have maintained our inflation low one of the lowest in the world and interestingly many strong countries of the European Union do not mengagumkan Pak Prabowo tampil pidato menggunakan full bahasa Inggris di depan uh, para undangan. Pada kesempatan itu, Pak Prabowo menjelaskan dengan tanpa membaca teks. Artinya bahasa Inggris beliau sangat luar biasa. Lancar ya, lancar Kemampuan sekali. bahasa Inggris yang luar biasa, Pak Prabowo ini pemikirannya juga sangat luar biasa untuk Indonesia ke depannya. Hmm. Mungkin hal ini juga yang membuat Pak Jokowi sangat percaya atau mempercayakan Prabowo Gibran untuk kedepannya. Tidak usah khawatir, full bahasa Inggris ini sudah kami beri subtitle, jadi teman-teman bisa mendengarkan pidato Pak Prabowo sambil membaca subtitle yang menggunakan bahasa Indonesia. Baik. Semoga membantu dan mohon maaf apabila ada kata-kata yang kurang presisi di subtitle bahasa Indonesia. In the context of what we saw in the video, I think all of you are more expert than me in the world of finance, investment, etc. But for me, economics, finance is actually very basic. I think the economy of a country must address the need, first of all, of the people of that country. And uh, one thing that I am convinced of in my career is that every people in every part of the world, whatever nation, whatever race, whatever religion, whatever economic and political philosophy, every people in the world desire the same basic things. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is a common interest of humanity. And one thing that I am very convinced of, being an amateur historian, being a student of history, being a former soldier, one thing I am convinced of, there the people of all the world, especially I'm convinced my people, but I think all your peoples also, desire prosperity. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness means prosperity. Every leader of every country must aspire to achieve prosperity. So the economy, I think, must, in my opinion, refer to this basic fact. Peace and stability is the key to prosperity. Pak Prabowo juga menyinggung soal gejolak perekonomian yang sempat melanda di Indonesia. Seperti salah satunya adalah saat Covid-19. Menurut pandangan beliau, meskipun berada di tengah gelombang perekonomian yang sempat mengkhawatirkan, tetapi Indonesia masih bisa mempertahankan inflasi yang luar biasa. In the midst of all this, in the midst of all the challenges The last being the 98 economic 
meltdown in Asia, in East Asia. After that, our transition to a full democracy, and after that, we had the 2008 financial crisis, and after that, we had the pandemic, COVID, and mm -hmm. we have now the geopolitical uncertainty everywhere mm -hmm. will provide an impact on the economic situation of many countries. Indonesia still managed to weather all these challenges and everybody must acknowledge that we have done not too bad. We still maintain growth after a pan pandemic. One of the most vibrant, I think, growth in the world. We have maintained our inflation, low, one of the lowest in the world, not bad eh, for Indonesia. And we have maintained a good, prudent economic and fiscal management. Benar ya, di tengah-tengah pandemi Indonesia memang sangat-sangat luar biasa mengatasi perekonomiannya. Ya. Dan bisa kita lihat tanpa tek Bapak Prabowo ini eh, memberikan pidatonya di depan tamu-tamu undangan tanpa ada eh, dipasang sangat-sangat lancar sekali ya. I think uh, Indonesia has a good record. We have never defaulted in our economic history. Our uh, trade balance has been positive for what the last five years. Tremendous, Pak Perry. Uh, terima kasih. And uh, our uh, reserves are are very healthy, although it. It must be better in the coming years, right? We are determined to uh, maintain this trajectory. We are this uh, proven record of prudent and wise management. I think is very essential because we see in many parts of the world, for instance, inflation. And I am optimistic. By talking not only with economic experts, I talk with the players. I talk with the economic players of all levels. From the top taipans, the middle, to the cooperatives, to the village traders. By the way, I was chairman of the Traditional Traders Association for many, many years. I'm still board of patron of that organization which represent I think something like what 16,000 traditional markets so I get input from all this and I come out with uh, with a view that I'm very bullish I am very optimistic Indonesia termasuk negara dengan PDB terendah di dunia yakni berada di dua PDB lantas apa saja langkah-langkah Oke sahabat itu tadi ya <laughs> Sudah kita dengarkan bersama Betapa hebatnya Bapak Prabowo dengan bahasa Inggrisnya Dan ini bisa uh, memudahkan komunikasi Indonesia dengan bangsa luar negeri Itu tadi uh, Dan sekali lagi mohon izin di channelnya Yuda Media HD ya. Nanti bisa seutuhnya dilihat di sana dan mohon izin juga videonya saya reaksi. Terima kasih. Saya uh, pukul undur diri. Kulang lebihnya mohon maaf. Diakhiri wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.